condition. She's had an injured ankle and re-injured it in the warm-up session. And so on the ice right now, as they make the announcement here in the arena concerning Nicole Bobek, and you can hear the reaction from the crowd, just a, a large groan. A few boo boos, too. Yes. In fifth place, after the short program, representing the this, University of Delaware. This is the silver medalist from last year's Junior Delaware, National Championships. Tara and Lipinski. Really, one of the sensations of the skating world. Only 13 years old, here is Tara Lipinski. She is exceptionally mature and a very ambitious child. Double axle. Watch the tightness of this next jump, the triple flip. Watch how close her legs are. And see whether her entrance is a straight line. Very solid. Triple flip. Really amazing, isn't it? Yes. It's wonderful. She looks very calm, very confident. practices all week she has been very consistent going through her program all the way with all the jumps yes a triple lutz and a double toe loop and that smile widened a little <laughs> bit at the end of that, that jump she has a very nice back that's in very good position. Well, if you were watching the show earlier tonight, you may have seen another young skater in the pairs competition, Shelby Lyons, who finished third, along with Brian Wells. And we mentioned she had an outstanding career as a singles skater as well. And Yesterday, she came from fourth after the short program to win the Junior Ladies National title. So congratulations to Shelby. My first impressions of Tara, seeing her in person this week, was that she is not intimidated at all about competing here at the Senior Nationals. Peggy, you were only 15 when you won your first national championship, so you right. know something about having poise at a tender age. Where does it come from? You look out at Tara Lipinski, just in amazement. There's not a whole lot of nerves. I don't think they've really kicked in for her. I did get a little nervous, but I did have fun. Oh, that, that was the only double, triple combination, I think, mm -hmm. in this competition. could be wrong on that because we have yet to see Tanya Kwiatkowski. Tanya Kwiatkowski in second place after the short program. And remember the top three normally are chosen for the world team. Of course, with the withdrawal of Nicole Bobek, we'll have to wait and see because officially it is an invitation to the world team. Wonderful. What a combination. Wonderful. And she threw that in without the half loop, I, even with the half loop. Right, to keep that speed and have enough speed to do the triple. And look at, at this. This. Triple toe loop. She's adorable. Isn't she fun? I mean, she really had just enormous, <sighs> enormous sophistication. She really did. This audience is standing up immediately. <laughs> Look at the smile on her. <laughs> One of the brightest smiles in all of figure skating. And 
Yeah, a large applause for 13-year-old Tara Lipinski. We'll be back with her marks and the performance of Karen Kwan, the sister of Michelle Kwan, when we return to San Jose Arena. Welcome back to the State Farm U.S. Figure Skating Championships and the technical merit marks for Tara Lipinski. And the ever-present smile just wiped off her face. <laughs> you know, look, looking at her, she's just adorable. Yeah. Her jumping, really wonderful. This combination at the end of the program is really gutsy. First, a double axle. She doesn't lift as far forward as she could, but then goes right into a half loop and then a triple salco. And all this at the end of the program. Very gutsy and very strong. And now the marks for presentation. Her coach, Richard Callahan, on the right side of her and for presentation they are 5-2 to 5-5 the crowd did not like them they thought that they were low very quickly let's go to leslie visser to get an update leslie 